YouTube, what is going on? This is ZachCraft16 coming back at you with a Super Bowl 52 video. I am very honored to welcome my special guest today. This is Connor Peters. Honored to be back on with you, Zach. Wanted to do this show for a long time, and I can't wait to talk about this game with you. I'm very excited. Five days away. Can't believe it. So we're going to break it down same time as last time. We're going to give you some highlights, do a little voiceover action, and we're going to break down what the key components are for each team on their road to victory and Super Bowl 52. So enough with the chit-chat. Let's get into it. All right, so in this year's Super Bowl, we have the 13-3 Philadelphia Eagles versus the 13-3 New England Patriots. And as you can see there, those are going to be the two guys leading charge for their teams, Nick Foles and Tom Brady. So let's start out with the Patriots, Connor. The Patriots obviously have one of the best offenses in the NFL under one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. What do you think are the key components for this New England Patriots offense? Well, the key com components for this New England Patriots offense is definitely they have to get um, Rob Gronkowski involved in the in the passing game. And that would start off with the running game, get Deion Lewis and Rex Burkhead and James Wright going. That would set up the play-action pass. This Eagles de um, front, front four is very aggressive. They get after the quarterback and... Brady's going to have to get it out quick. and Aggressive defense. And I think, you know, they could go on the outside with Cooks and Hogan. And it would be a very tough. I think Patriots are going to move the ball on this Eagles defense if they move to just get the ball out quickly. Let's talk about Brandon Cooks for a second. Obviously, he is a dangerous deep threat. However, he's been kind of underutilized in this 2017 campaign. Do you think that it would be smart for the Patriots to try to incorporate him more? Or do you think that they should just stick to what they did last week in Jacksonville? Well, here's the thing about Brandon Cooks. He, he did have over, people forget, he did have over 1,000 receiving yards this year. I think what... I think his expectations coming in were a little bit too high because people thought he was going to be Randy Moss, but there's only one Randy Moss. So I think they would definitely use him on, on some deep some deep passes a little bit here and there, and they would definitely use him on the outside and like at the sticks and whatever. I think that's what they would use Brandon Cooks for. All right, let's talk about that Eagles pass rush. Obviously, the Eagles pass rush is pretty good. Patriots have given up a lot of hits on Brady the past couple weeks. What do you think the Patriots have to do to counter that? They have to do a lot of screen passes with Ray and Bearcat and, and Lewis, and they have to do, maybe do a lot of screens, maybe do in, do in rounds, do a lot of maybe a trick play here or there. Belichick would definitely have one of those in the playbook, but I definitely think you have to get the ball out quickly, um, get it to the outside, and get you know get Gronk involved. But definitely got to make sure Brady can move and um, get move in the pocket. So who do you think should get the majority of the carries? Because obviously the Patriots have had a running back by committee system for a couple of seasons. Uh, you know, in last year's Super Bowl, Lewis, he got the majority of the action. So do you think that they go to him again, or do you think that they switch it up? Well, well last year it was, it was a lot of James White because he had, what, like 11 receptions that game? He did, he did. So it was a lot of James White. I think you see a lot of maybe Deion Lewis and stuff, but you never know. It depends on what they want to do and stuff. But if it's running down, I think it's going to see Lewis passing down it's James Wright, definitely. Let's talk about the well-known receiver now, but not so well-known over the course of his career, uh, Hogan. How do you think they stopped uh, Hogan? Hogan? He's got the size. He's got the speed. How Hogan, do you think they shut him down? Hogan had a quiet game last week, but Hogan can get open. I mean, he had a little bit of that shoulder injury early in this year, so I think he's a, he's a weapon that no one's talking about. He could definitely... Have, break out for this game. I would not be shocked if he's in the running to win uh, Super Bowl MVP. Let's switch up to the defensive side of the ball. Sure. Obviously, they're going up against a tremendous wide receiver corps. They have, the Eagles have Alshon Jeffrey, uh, Torrey Smith, Nelson Aguilar, Zach Ertz. Uh, which players do you think have to come alive in this game on the Patriots defense to shut that down? Well, Belichick, what he likes to do, obviously, he likes to take away your best option. I think mean, the best option for the Eagles is Zach Ertz, and I think they're going to use Chung a little bit using them as safety though, over the top maybe. And then you see Gilmore and Jeffrey, Butler on Aguilar and Pick and Rowan, on the the other guy. So if it's if he had they they'll give up yards definitely, but they hopefully they can uh, hold the Eagles to field goals. So that's what I think the game plan is gonna be for the Patriots. Last week when the uh, Minnesota Vikings played the Philadelphia Eagles, you saw a lot of man-to-man -man coverage. So I think that what a good idea for the Patriots to be would be to run a lot of zone because Alshon Jeffrey 
and uh, Torrey Smith. They're great guys when it comes to man to man, but in order to be a really good quarterback against the zone, you have to have a tight pass, and I don't think Nick Foles and, has that. And definitely with Nick Foles, I would make if I was Matt Patricia and Bill Belichick, I would make Nick Foles beat you. I don't think he can. If you have Nick, if if, if this game has to be on Nick Foles' arm, Patriots are gonna win. All right, so that's basically what we have today for the New England Patriots side of the ball. As you can see there, the fantastic catch by Amendola last week. But enough about the Patriots. Let's move on to the Philadelphia Eagles. So underdog in this Super Bowl, starting a backup quarterback. What do you think the Eagles have to do at their biggest position being quarterback with Nick Foles to win the game. What does he have to do? Manage the game. Don't make any mistakes. That's the key with being the Patriots. You can't make mistakes. You can't give short fields to Brady and you just got to manage the game with a lot of short passes. Don't I wouldn't try to force it deep a lot. Manage manage the game. Um get time and possession on your side and keep Brady on the sideline. He sure does have a lot of weapons. He has Alshon Jeffrey, he has Tory Smith, he has Nelson Aguilar um, obviously, Alshon Jeffrey being the biggest one this season. He had 700 yards, which is not a lot for what he usually produces, but he did have nine touchdowns. So, obviously, they have to incorporate him a lot in the in the red zone if they get there. And um, what do you think about the other receivers behind him? I think they have some pretty solid receivers and a good tight end in Zach Ertz. I think um, another interesting fact about the Eagles is their running game is very good. They have a deep set of backs with uh, the Garrett Blount and... Um, um, Jay Ajayi, so they're going to be very tough to beat on, on the offensive side of the ball. They're a very smash mouth football team. Good offensive line, too. If you're the Philadelphia Eagles, are you handing the ball to Jay Ajayi more, or are you handing it to Garrett Blunt more? I'm probably handing, out, handing it to Jay Ajayi more. I think with Garrett Blunt, I mean, if you just stop him um, at the line of scrimmage, you're just, gonna, you're just gonna fall down. I mean, because I've watched every Patriots game last year, and the Garrett Blunt, if you just make contact with him, he's gonna go down. All right, so let's talk about that Eagles offensive line. Pretty good job protecting Nick Foles this season. Um, before Carson Wentz got hurt, he wasn't sacked very much. How do you think they hold up against this Patriots defense? Well, this Patriots defense, I mean, they have gone quite a bit, surprisingly, have a, quite a bit of pressure on the quarterback um, the, these last couple of weeks in the playoffs. But I think you would, they're not really, they don't have a lot of dominant game-changing pass rushers on that defense, especially after they lost Dante Hightower, Rob Ninkovich, and a lot of guys. So they're morally, uh, mostly relying on Trey Flowers, Dietrich Rise, um, James Harrison here or there. So it, you won't see a lot of pass rush, but it'll be a, a lot of bend but don't break on Sunday for the Patriots. And for that Philadelphia Eagles defense, a lot of big names. They've got Chris Long. They have Brandon Graham. Uh, how do you think those guys pressure Tom Brady? Obviously, he's he's taken some hits, but it is the Patriots' offensive line, and they have been known to step it up when they have to. So how do the Eagles get inside of that pocket? They get inside of that pocket by um, pressuring him up the middle. Make sure that he can't step up in the pocket and throw it. You also, what Jim Schwartz needs to make sure he does is disguise the coverages because if you let on like what what are you gonna do? Brady's gonna pick that apart. You gotta wait and wait and wait because Brady likes to put that um the the play clock down all the way down to one one second. So you gotta disguise it for the entire forty seconds of the play clock. One thing I was pretty impressed was what that Eagles secondary did last week against Minnesota Vikings. They shut down Stephon Diggs, they shut down Adam Thielen. How do you think they perform against this more advanced Patriots passing offense, and how do you think they slow it down? Well, it depends. It, it all is going to come down to if they get pressure on Brady. If they do not get pressure on Brady, they're not going to. Brady's going to pick it apart. You can't beat the Patriots and not put and not put pressure. That's just to come. So it's all going to come down to the front four. If they don't, then the the corner, the secondary is going to look bad. Plain and simple. Another little interesting uh, thing to think about is Doug Peterson. Do you think that you know he'll be able to keep up with Belichick's scheming, or do you think that he's going to have some trouble? What do you think he has to do to put his players in the best position? Not blow a 28-3 lead. <laughs> uh, but in all seriousness, um, he would need to just be smart with the play calling. Don't if you're up if you're up late in the game by more than a score, run, run the, the ball. ball. Run, run the, the ball. ball. That's run right. the ball. Control the clock. Don't get ahead of yourself. The Patriots love to get in your head. And make you make stupid mistakes. That's the key. With the, that's that's what the Patriots hope that you do long drives, and at some point during the drive, you that they're gonna that Nick that Nick Foles or whoever is gonna make a, a big mistake that's gonna cost them the game. All right. So 
We put down all of our keys, so I want you to give me an answer in your non-Patriots homer perspective. Who do you think's winning the Super Bowl? And give me a score. I think, you know, I know, I think the Patriots are we're having a parade here in Boston on Tuesday. And I got the Patriots winning this game, 31 to 14. Wow, that's a 17 point different differential I, there. I have a really good feeling about this game. I think the Patriots are destined for their third Super Bowl in four years again. And this is gonna end. Make sure Matt Patricia and Josh McDaniels go off, go off to the their respective new head coaching jobs on top. And Tom Brady will win Super Bowl MVP, and he will be known as the best athlete of all time in any sport. I gotta agree with you there. I think that New England Patriots are gonna win. I don't think it's gonna be as much of a blowout. I'm calling it 27 to 24. So thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like, subscribe, you know, write down any comments on any other key components you think there are, or if you disagree with our prediction. But thanks for watching, and have a great day.